Hello and welcome to a worked exercise for Python for Informatics, Exploring Information. I'm your host, Charles Severance, and this material is copyright Creative Commons Attribution. So again, you're supposed to try to work these exercises yourself before you uh, attempt them. Uh, just these are good crutches to make sure that you understand, but uh, make sure you give it a try yourself. And if you don't understand how to basically create and edit programs, you should go back to www.pythonlearn.com and work through some of the installation instructions for Python in your text editor. So here's our exercise. We're going to do the classic rate times pay with overtime. And so the idea is, is that um, oops, you have uh, pay times rate. And for 40 hours, you get the basic rate, and if you work above it, you get one and a half times that. So if it's $10 an hour, you get $15 an hour for the hours above uh, 40. So let's go ahead and start Text Wrangler and start a command line. Uh, close that, close our drawer, make it smaller. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull my, uh, go into the desktop. Pi for inf. See, I've got a few files here, um, and in this case, I am going to open hours1.py, and I'm going to immediately save it as hours2.py. I mean, why read all right all that stuff we did before? So this, uh, I guess, I can get rid of this one now. So it's hours2.py, and so um, now we have the I'll keep that in. We have the rate and the hours. I'll put that print statement back in. And the problem is I can't um, I can't just do pay equals rate times hours. So I need an if then else. So let's do an if. If the hours is less than 40, then we can say pay equals rate times hours. That's fine. So now let's come up. I get that four spaces. There we go. Um, I could write another statement that said like this. If um, actually this should be less than or equal to 40. If pay is greater than 40, we need a different calculation. And and that one is pay. It, there's a couple of ways to do this, but I'm going to do it this way. Rate times 40, which means those are the those are the hours, that's your basic rate. Then I'm going to add uh, rate times 1.5. That's one and a half times the rate, times, and then the hours above 40, which is hours minus 40. So this bit here is the hours above 40. Now, operator precedence would say that these multiplications are done before this subtraction, and that might not work so well. So let's let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay. So we got pays rate times hours, and pay is equal to rate times 1.5 times hours minus 40. So let's go ahead and run this. I got Python hours. Let's do uh, 30 hours and $10. That's looking good. So that is, um, we have, you know, that's running through this bit of code right here. And um, let's do exactly 40 hours. And that's looking good. So let's do um, 50 hours because we can calculate that in our head. That's 10 hours extra. And then a rate of $10 should be 5 100. That doesn't seem right. So 50 times 10. What's wrong here? 50 times 10 is. Ours is less than 40. Now I'm confused. What's wrong with this? Well, oops, what did I do here? A is greater than 40, and that does not seem right. Did I save this file? I'm crazy. 50 hours, $10 an hour. Oh, okay, I must not have saved the file. Okay, 
So <laughs> pay is not defined on line eight. Oops, I was typing too fast. That needs to be hours greater than 40. Okay, so that's better. So now we have hours less than 40 and hours greater than 40. So let's run that one again. 50 hours at $10 an hour. 50 hours at $10 an hour. That'd be like 600 something. This does not look like the right number. And so we got, I'm going to just take this print back out, print of rate an hour, save that. Let's run it again. 50 hours, $10 per hour, $1,100. That does not look right. So let's take a look at this. Rate times 40, and that's pretty obvious. That'd be $400. Rate times one and a half, that'd be $15 times the number of hours minus 40. Oh, so this is an operator precedence problem. So if you recall, multiplication happens before addition. And so Python is going to do this calculation first. This is the actual calculation. Is multiplying the rate times one and a half times the number of hours, and then it's subtracting 40. This ends up being a rather large number, and that's how our calculation is wrong. That is not how we meant to do this. Oops. So let's put parentheses in, because we want to subtract 40 from the hours before we do the multiplication. We want this to happen first. We want the hours to subtract 40, so they'll end up with 10 hours, and then multiply that by the rate. So let me save that and run it. 50 hours, $10 an hour, 550. Much better, much better. Whew, that looks pretty much better. Okay, so that's, so we're kind of done with that. We had that little mistake there of the parentheses not working. And the other thing is, is that the much better way to write this is just putting an else here. Right, so we just say else. And so now we have an if then else. If it's Less than 40, less than or equal to 40, we do this. If it's greater than 40, we do that. And then we do print pay. So let's save that one. So 50 hours, $10 an hour, 550. So this if then else formulation is a much better way to do this particular problem.